Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katie. Today I have a really fun video for you. I will be doing the eyeshadow wardrobe tag and this tag was created by Morgan Turner and Charlotte Holcroft, I believe. Morgan is one of my favorite YouTubers, so when I saw she created this tag, of course I wanted to join. And it's about eyeshadow, obviously one of my favorite things. So the whole idea of this tag is that you pick out what eyeshadow palette you would use for a certain situation. So if you are interested in my picks, just keep on watching. Okay, the first prompt is wedding, either like your wedding or a wedding guest. And for this one, I pick Soft Glam. I think I've seen a lot of people pick this one, but it really is the perfect palette. It is very soft on the eyes, and it really does <laughs> look very glam, which sounds funny to say, but it's just a really elegant palette that's soft. It'll make you uh, really enhance your features, but without being anything too over the top. So this was my pick for this one. And I was um, going, planning on going to a wedding this year, um, but it was canceled because of COVID. But this was what I was planning to wear. And it's really easy to get a really nice look really quickly with this too. So that's also a plus. The next question or prompt is date night. And for that, I picked the ABH Norvina palette. This one I really liked um, for a date night because it has a lot of like really pretty softer tones, but you can also like deepen it up and go a little bit more glam if you'd like. But for date night, I really like the soft rosy pinks and the purples, and these are shades that I feel really comfortable wearing. So that is my pick for this one. The next prompt was girls night, and I struggled a little bit with what I would pick. Um, for this one, but I decided on this quad from Pat McGrath Labs. It is their Blitz, Blitz Astral Quad in Ritualistic Rose, and it just has four of her really special glittery shades. So I thought this would be a great pick for Girls' Night Out. You can really, you could use multiple of these shades on the lids, or you could just put one and then put um, a color in the crease and you're good to go. But it looks so pretty on the eyes. And of course, I would like some sparkle for a girl's night out. The next question is vacation. And I thought about this one realistically. And normally when I go on vacation, I like something really quick because either I wanna relax or I wanna get out the door and go do my plans for the day, sightsee, things like that. And I also prefer something smaller to pack in my bag so it's not something too bulky or too heavy to take with me traveling. So I picked the Charlotte Tilbury Darling palette. And this is just like a perfect everyday palette, really pretty, you can get some different looks out of it, but really pretty simple looks, but they look really put together. And you can throw it on your eyes in like two minutes and it looks like you spent a lot more time on your eyeshadow than you did. So I thought this one was a perfect one. And I did kind of purchase this with travel in mind. Um, but I really do love her formula. It's very elegant, very easy, so perfect for vacation. The next one is graduation. Again, I, this is what I struggled on. Um, I don't know. I don't remember what I wore to graduation, but, um, this one has some really, really pretty neutral tones, and I really like the formula of the shimmers on it. This is the Merch Huda Beauty Mercury and Retrograde palette. So I thought this would be a perfect one for graduation. You can just pick, like, some of the neutral colors and put a shimmer on your lid and a couple of the neutral mattes in your crease and you are good to go. Again, you look um, put together but not too made up, so that is my pick for this one. The next one is Christmas Day, and this one was pretty easy. Um, I picked the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. 
I just love golds for Christmas. And this one is just stunning. Has a lot of different textures and shimmer. So I thought this one would be perfect. And I did wear this, I believe, on Christmas Day last year. I really think it's perfect. I usually don't do my makeup till like later in the day for like dinner. But again, I think this is stunning. And I could have picked this one for multiple categories, honestly, because I love it so much. But I tried to pick the one that I thought it fit the best with. So I picked this for Christmas Day. The next prompt is birthday party. And for this one, I picked something kind of fun. Summery. I always think summery because my birthday's in June. I just, I don't know. So I picked very fun summery colors. Has a lot of sparkle. You could do something more neutral or toned down with this if you'd like to. So it's not too crazy, but I thought this would be really fun for a birthday. The next prompt is um, office. And for this one, I picked this ColourPop quad that is discontinued, but it has two of my all-time favorite shades. I, I think I've talked about this palette before on my channel. Um, it has this really nice, perfectly toned neutral matte and this really nice satin shimmer. And these two are just perfect for an everyday look. You can deepen it up or change the look up a little bit with this metallic. So... I think it's really a nice, no fuss, everyday look. So that's why I picked this one for the office. Definitely appropriate for the office. You know, it's not too in your face. It's not too metallic. Just really pretty. The next one is errands or your everyday go-to. And this is pretty similar to me to like the office prompt but for this one I picked my Too Faced chocolate bar it just has the perfect neutral tones and again it's something I can very easily create a look with I have gotten a ton of use out of this um, I have pans and multiple shades it was my pan that palette one year so I did get really comfortable um, just doing the same looks over and over with it but I think they're really pretty I think it's perfect because you have a champagne and you have a gold. You have different colors of matte brown for your crease. You have a setting shade, a brow bone highlight. It has everything you need. So this was my pick for errands or everyday go-to. And then the last question is New Year's Eve. And again, this one was a no-brainer for me. I picked the ABH Sultry. And it's a really pretty cool tone palette. I love this one because it has so much sparkle in it. So I think it's perfect for New Year's and you can definitely do a really nice cool tone smoky eye, which is kind of what I think of when I think of New Year's. So that is what I picked for this one. I would love to know your guys' picks down below if you agree with my choices or if you would have gone a different direction. But yeah, thank you guys so much for creating this tag. It was so much fun to do. And if you like booty videos, make sure you give this one a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.